And now, we are opening the floor for your questions. Again, to our guests in Zoom, if you want to ask your questions live, please, please click the raise hand button below your screen so we can unmute your mic. All right, so we can start with, I think we can answer the first two questions already jointly. So someone asked, I am a reporter, photographer, and editor at the same time. Can I skip the requirement for a three-person team to qualify for a fellowship? Then the next question from Janina Magundayao. For freelance multimedia reporters, do we still need to find an editor to be in the team with us? Apart from the editor newsroom manager, who will write a statement of support for us? So may I invite AC? Okay. Um, uh, siguro for the ano, for the first question, um, you may you may still apply, but as uh, as it's mentioned also kanina, na it's very important to still form a team, para you you para mas ano, mas mas comprehensive at the same time mas solid your story because you have each other to look into yung paggawa ng story nyo, and if you have a, a multiple role. Um, you you uh, and and you want to apply again. You have to form a team, and at the same time, you have to choose what role you gagamitin mo pag nag-apply ka. Are you using the role of an editor, or are you just using the role of the reporter? Basta we highly encourage everyone to form a team, and of course to get uh, to to have to secure a uh, a letter of commitment from the publication na magpa-publish ng story niyo. Tapos for the ano for the um, next question, siguro ano um best effort pa din niya again to get an editor to be part of your team kasi as mentioned kanina yung importance to having an editor and then also a commitment from the publication should be signed by an editor news manager na kahit hindi part nung, nung team ang important kasi dito is you have to get uh, an assurance that your story will be published Kasi syempre, sayang naman din yung effort kung yun nga, yun naghirap tayo sa paggawa ng story, ah, tapos hindi naman, uh, walang kasiguradahan ng pagka-publish. So maganda na masecure natin yun in that form. Um, uh, maybe um, Chris and also Josette can also add on that. So just to recognize, we're also joined, uh, aside from Chris Sanchez, Jessette Enano, Consulting Coordinator of the Fellowship. Hi, good morning. Um, I just want to emphasize yung, actually, um, okay naman na yung response na yung incident sa question. Pero I just want to emphasize how important it is to have an editor in the team. Uh, to be completely transparent when we were you know cooking up this fellowship that was one of the the main uh, challenges that we already thought na we anticipated na it would be kind of challenging not necessarily difficult to to have an editor as part of the team kasi uh, usually yung mga ibang fellowships or story grants that we're used to you know me being a journalist myself no usually it's either a, a one person effort or a partnership between two journalists. But we thought that it, this is a great opportunity to have an editor on board or as part of the team para rin mas magkaroon ng multiplier effect sa newsroom yung gagawin nating effort dito together. Um, as a journalist myself, I recognize that uh, journalists all attend itong mga klaseng, iba't ibang klaseng mga trainings, fellowships, and grants. But there are less and less opportunities for editors to learn and to, to learn new concepts, to be supported also for the work that they do. So we really encourage that if you are an editor, no, to, to take the initiative no, to, to take part in, in this fellowship na kung kayo ay, I'm sure may mga story ideas then. uh have maybe a, a reporter that you trust no or that has potential to to build on some stories that you both have the vision for and pursue it and i think na um it has that multiplier effect na even after this fellowship no yung mga editors hopefully what they will get out from this uh, fellowship is 
uh, you will learn to look at stories with an energy and climate lens um, even beyond dun sa six months nyo uh, um, under this program. So yun. Salamat. So, idikit ko na rin yung isa pang related question ni Divina Susol. Kami ba ang maghahanap ng katim namin or ang organizer ang mag-group sa amin? Okay. Um, subukan ka muna ng sagutin. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Uh, we we highly encourage na kayo yung magbuo ng team. Pero definitely, we can help you out. For example, um, if you are in a region, for example, nasa summer kayo, um, a reporter and a photographer, pero wala kayong editor, we can help you link into link into someone na, na editor na pwedeng tumulong sa inyo. Or pwede kayong magbuo ng team na, na kunwari, nasa, nasa regions kayo, pero yung kukunin nyo editor ay nasa Manila. That is also okay. So, ano, um, syempre parang Um, maganda na makakatrabaho ka dun sa someone na kampante ka na or someone na kakilala mo na maganda yan kasi may rapport na kayo for the story pero yun nga if nahihirapan yung team na magbuo o na makabuo ng, ng members pwede kaming tumulong maglink up sa inyo sa mga kakilala para para ano para mabuo ninyo yung, yung team yeah and then uh isa-isa daw ba ang magpo-propose ng story or ang as a team ang proposal? As a team ang proposal. So, uh, isang isang proposal sa isang team yung makukuha namin. Pero, make sure na yung lahat kayo nakasign dun sa proposal. As yung nasa chat din kanina, pinadala yung link kung saan kayo pwede mag-apply. Tsaka yung QR code kanina, we can, ano, we can flash it again later para ma-check nyo. Para diretso kayo dun sa job form kung saan kayo maglalagay na application. Basta, as a team ang application na make sure na lahat kayo nakasign para ano para hindi din magulo na baka kasi parang parang team magka magkaibang application pa para ano lang organized lang din. Okay. So as Francis Allen Angelo remarked on our chat box news outlets can collaborate together in case of manpower issues. I think um, I think we all agree on that. Yes. All right. So next question from Jermelina Lacorte, in what format do you prefer the final product to be? In. Will there will it be for print, video, multimedia? If so, do you have the prescribed length? Okay, Jeset. Yeah, hi, Mom Germs. Um, yung sa ano po sa sa final uh, output um wala pong prescribed length wala rin pong um, required number of story so it really depends on your story proposal so let's say that your story proposal requires uh, a multimedia aspect to it no meron po kayong short video or photos then great that's that's your for discretion po as journalists and editors as the team. Um, so we welcome all formats po. If if you're working for a newspaper and and uh, you're you're more uh, you, you know you're more uh, for print or for text then go ahead po but syempre uh, it will be much better if there are photos to accompany your story. Um, kaya po dun sa part din ng team ay maganda po sana kung meron kasamang photographer, photojournalist or kung kayo po ay multimedia reporter meaning kayo rin po yung kumukuha ng litrato or nagvi-video din po on the field. So uh, ito po ay parte ng story proposal. This will be your discretion kasi kayo po yung nakakaalam kung uh, how yan yung best na, na story treatment if if the story is best told through photo essay or even a short documentary or even a podcast series we actually ano po are very much open to all kinds of formats uh, because we we really want to encourage na ito pong mga classing stories uh, go beyond yung usual lang na formats that we see that they are digestible in different ways so that when we publish them and when we share them to ano yung social media po no ng fellowship and then eventually sa iba pang mga international partners of the ICSC eh, maganda at mas marami po yung reach po niya. Siguro unahan ko na rin din sagutin ko na rin yung isang question dun sa baba no from Miss Jemir Jerry Mara Manuel. I'm sorry po kung na mispronounce ko yung name. Um, with regards po dun sa pag-attend po nung, nung sessions, no? So, the, the classes, so parang yung simula po kasi, of course, 
uh, if if you recall po, no, this fellowship is not just for the specialists. It's not just for the energy reporters. So that's why we're starting it with a short course para to get everybody kind of on the same plane, no? on the same uh, field po, no? na we all know the terminologies, we understand what energy transition is all about in the first place, what is renewable energy really, what is what are really our problems uh, relating to energy and even in relation to climate change. So yung ito pong short course na ito will be just uh, in, in the first five weeks of the program. Uh, ito po ay, um, if, if, if we get all the proposals early and then we get to decide yung mga fellows po who will join us for, for this uh, fellowship, then we'll be having it uh, most likely by the month of June. And then uh, by July to October, that's the time when you will be on your own po doing your own story. So, um, mas, mas maganda po na uh, lahat po ay ma-attend nung sessions or classes para po ito ay learning experience po para sa lahat. But siguro po just to share po, no? so the, the, the plan for, for the classes is it's going to be both synchronous and asynchronous. So kami po ni AC, who uh, we are creating po the modules and everything. We are both teachers. So, and we are both journalists. So we are wearing a lot of hats <laughs> at this point. Um, so we are wearing both our third teacher and journalist hat po no, um, in creating this. And we understand po no, na bilang mga journalists, minsan mahira pong pagsamasamahin tayo sa isang schedule. No? So that's why um, we are planning po uh, na at least po uh, yung mga sessions, kung may mga live sessions po at least once a week, it will be recorded so that you can um, you can watch them at your own pace, at your own time. And then we, were, we are also preparing modules po that you can, and readings po and other materials po that you can um, read and learn from, uh, again, at, at your own pace. So, ang mahalaga lang naman po dito ay uh, uh, maging learning experience po siya sa ating lahat. Uh, for us po, for I think for the ICSC a team po no um, maganda rin pong uh, opportunity to to really see po no ano yung mga barriers for journalists in producing and creating energy and climate stories and how can ano po no NGOs academics scientists and journalists all work together po to write and create and produce these kinds of very important stories po na hindi lang po mahalaga ngayon panahon kundi sa mga susunod pang taon no. Ah uh, siguro final point na lang po I think uh, I know na marami po sa atin very busy because of the election season. <laughs> um and and yung perspective po talaga natin ngayon talaga ay sa campaign no and of course sa uh, May 9 elections and what happens next. But I think that the fellowship also comes at an opportune time that we will have a new administration, new national officials, new local officials na we can our stories po no can help set that agenda for them our stories can can help ano po no show them the pathway towards low carbon development or even show po no the challenges that the communities face mm -hmm. uh, on the ground so i think ayun uh, yun lang po isang gusto ko idagdag na ano po na point uh, with regards to the application thank you thank you Josette. would anyone else like to add to that Chris? Yep, yep. So just to add, so um, this was raised earlier. Uh, yung sa question ng format, no? What format we would like the stories to be in? So as you said, said any will do. Um, we're lo actually looking forward to being as creative and as innovative as you can. We will respect the fact that you come from, you handle different beats, that you speak with different audiences, that you would like to send, you know, different messages to these audiences. So yes, podcasts, we welcome a video. We'll be happy to view. If you just want to have a story for print, we're really happy to see that as well. However you want to do it, even if you want to shift between two or more, we would love to see that as well. So something that hasn't been done before, we're very welcome to see. Um, surprise us and surprise your audience. We're looking for that. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take uh, the next two questions at the same time. Uh, Reniel Gundran. What if the other member is not part of your publication? Is it okay po? And then Divina Susan has a follow-up question. Kailangan ba fellows din ang kasama sa team or not necessarily? Team? Anyone who wants to take that on? Um, siguro yung, yung unang question, um, 
tawag dito, yun, hindi naman necessarily na part ng publication. Kasi nga, uh, again, the, the fellows uh, is, the, this program is open for freelancers. So, pwede tayong maghalo. Kunwari, uh, ikaw yung staff, staff writer, tapos you want to tap a freelance photojournalist or a freelance uh, multimedia reporter, pwede pwede yun. Um, for the next one, um, <coughs> yun, um, dapat fellows yung, yung, ano, yung kasali sa team o yung ibubuo na team. Kasi as mentioned din ni, ni Jessette kanina na uh, sama-sama kayong a-attend ng classes. So maganda na yung mabubuo yung 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 team na mabubuo niyo ay sila yung sa yung team na hawakan niyo hanggang sa uli. Na sama-sama kayo mula sa simula hanggang sa dulo. So yun. Yeah. Uh, Merlin, uh, sorry, yes, I sorry. see. Um siguro dagdag lang din kanina kasi nakita ko din din na questions yung dun sa ano, dun sa yung format ng stories. Um yun nga, any form pero at the same time Kunwari, kasi um, paano kung may more than one proposal ka or more than one story, you can actually plan your story to be a series. So, kasi, well, well, one topic about energy transition, you can plan it out in a way na, na part one, part two, part three. Pwede siyang series. Basta isang topic siya na ipapropose nyo. Tapos kayo yung bahalang dumiskarte kung paano format siya. Uh, three-part series ba yan ng podcast? Three-part series ba yan ng photo essay? Three-part series ba yan ng video? So it also answers the question na yun nga. Pwede ba ng madaming proposal? Pwede siyang, pwede siyang madaming part ng story pero one proposal per team para klaro pa din. Okay. So Reniel has a follow-up question. One member lang po ba mag-register as a representative? Or need pong lahat ng members? Yes, Joseph? I'll take that po, no? As someone na bumuo ng jot form. <laughs> um, so if you go to the to the link po or if you scan the QR code, so it will take you to the landing page of the fellowship. And you will see a button, I think it was a blue button there po that says apply here. So you will click that and it will take you po to a jot form. Uh, para po siyang Google form, kung mas familiar po kayo doon, ibang ano lang po siya, ibang platform. Um, and there will be uh, some details that you need to fill out. Um, uh, details po uh, about all of the members. So assuming you have three members po, no? so you have to fill out all of that. Pero in filling that out po, pwede namang isang tao lang. Um, but you have to have the details of your other team members. So halimbawa, ako po yung sample na lang po. Ako po yung journalist. Si AC po ay photojournalist at nangyari na po talaga to in real life. Um, and let's say po si Denise po yung editor. No? So ako lang po yung mag-fill out ng jot form but I already know yung address ni AC, yung designation ni AC, yung contact number ni AC. And same goes with Denise. Tapos pag kinlik nyo po yung next doon sa form, doon nyo na po makikita yung upload button for the other requirements such as your story proposal, your letter of commitment, your sample works, etc. Um, and then towards the end po, may commitment pledge uh, page lang po doon. Just tick that with a check. And then that's it po. No? It's actually a, a fairly easy application process, the submission part. Yung challenge po talaga would really be, of course, yung, yung pagbuo ng story, idea and the proposal, and yung pagbuo ng team. Um, but siguro dugtungan ko lang din yung nabanggit po ni AC no? na yung kailangan ba ay kailangan nasa isang publication kayo. Not necessarily po, no? nabanggit na rin po siya earlier na it could be a cross-collaboration between newsrooms. Actually, that's that's that would really, you know, wow us. Kasi in the Philippines po, kasi again, speaking as a journalist, wala pa po tayong strong na kultura ng collaboration eh. So that's why I think this is a good opportunity that let's say you are a newsroom from Sambuanga and you want to collaborate with a newsroom from Cagayan de Oro na may mga similar issues or stories po doon na gusto nyo explore then go ahead po, no? Or, you know, be more uh, innovative or, or even more, you know, um, pag dito, um, push the envelope even more. Let's say you're a newsroom from Visayas and you're seeing, let's say, coal issues also in Mindanao, energy issues, similar energy issues in Mindanao. Then you can go ahead po and, and collaborate also, no? So, um, yun po yung mga some ways of going around it that that are not very 
um, common in other fellowships or story grants, I think. Um, but I think this is a good, good opportunity po na in a way that since this is the first po, no, the inaugural <laughs> fellowship, marami pong leeways of, of change, of flexibility. Also from us po, no, from the organizing team. So if you have any questions, we are more than happy to, to speak with you, to chat with you through email. You have po the, the email in the chat box, I think. It was flashed earlier as well. And also on our Facebook page, you can uh, um, chat with us. And AC and I po, we're reachable naman uh, almost anytime. Thank you. Thank you, Josette. Someone's asking, can we send multiple proposals? Um, nas, uh, parang kanina, nabanggit ko, uh, make it, ano, uh, make it just one, one per team. Pero you can, again, work around it to make it a multiple stories. So parang ano siya, uh, para, para malaking tulong din kasi yun sa team eh. Hindi ka maat loss kung masyado kang madaming tinitingan ng story ideas at all at the same time. Kasi medyo ano yun, medyo well, parang ano, nakakalito ng konti. So ma maganda na isang buong proposal siya. Pero yun nga, ang, kasi yung opportunity mo doon, hawak mo kasi yung ano ang form ng story mo. Wala, labas kami doon, it's sa inyo. Um, paano nyo siya lalaroin, paano nyo siya ipapresent. Tapos yun nga, yung, yung collaboration dito yung maganda. Kasi imagine that if, yun nga, if your if you're new service from the now and then you, have, you collaborated from Visayas, makikita in both regions yung both stories. Kasi kung titingnan nyo yung energy stories naman kasi halos pare-pareho tayo na experiences in different regions. Parang, for example, lahat naman tayo, ayaw natin magbayad ng mga na kuryente, di ba? So, yung mga ganong issue, pare-pareho natin nararamdaman, nararanasan. So, magandang, ano, yon magandang way siya para pag-eksperimentuhan ninyo kung paano nyo siya uh, ipopropose. Kaya, pero yon again, as mentioned din ni Jacet, nandito naman kami for any help, lalo na kung may challenge nga sa pagbuo ng team. Tapos, um, siguro i-jump ko na lang din dun sa, ano, dun sa um, get sample stories or, or get samples and how to get in touch na question kanina. Um, yung, yun, I, I, mean, I mean, again, um, Jacet and I, Open kami for questions. Yung emails namin, if a flash din mamaya. Tapos yung any questions, inquiries, pwede nyo idiretso through Facebook channel ng Klima, tsaka sa Klima Fellowship at icse.ngo na email. Tapos yung for example stories, pwede nyo puntahan yung website ng icse, icse.ngo para makita nyo yung mga winowork naming stories on energy. Tapos at the same time, yung mga na-mention din kanina na mga examples nila Red, tsaka nila Mom Inday at nila Jade, pwede nating balikan yon para pwede natin pag, uh, pag nilay nila nila yan kung paano natin lalaliman yung mga ganong story ideas. Pwede naman balikan ng ating uh, participants and other journalists itong recording no ng uh, on on Facebook and I believe you'll send uh, a copy of the Zoom recording as well. Uh, I believe the presentations of of Ange, uh, Inday, uh, Red's uh, opening remarks um between those three, no, you, we already have a lots of um, potential story ideas that uh, I'm sure our communications team will also be uploading on our website. So we have another question from Paul Ikamina. How does one allocate funding? For example, a reporter on the ground doing field work will need more resources for, say, local transport. Josette, would you like to take this on? Yes. Uh, hi, Paul. Uh, thank you for your question. Um, yung sa, sa funding, um, kayo po yung magde-decide kung pa, paano po yung allocation kasi kayo po yung makakatimbang kung ano-ano po, saan-saan mapupunta yung budget na ma allocate sa inyo. So, the working budget for the working uh, grant po for all teams is 70,000 pesos. So, yung 70,000 pesos na yun, kayo po yung maglalaro kung saan-saan siya mapupunta. So, let's say, uh, for example, uh, you have uh, transport or travel, uh, meals, di ba po? Uh, lodging, kung kailangan nyo pong mag-travel, let's say, communication expenses, 
uh, supplies kung may kailangan po kayo. And then yung napakahalaga po is yung COVID-related expenses. We understand po that you know, it's still the pandemic and challenging pa rin po na na especially kung bababa po tayo sa communities at magfi-field po no so if if you need to to buy PPEs to undergo testing so include din po natin to doon sa ating uh, proposal so uh, just to give you an idea kind of how it looks like so you will essentially bubulan po kayo ng parang spreadsheet tapos i-itemize niyo lang po doon kung ano-ano po yung mga um expense ninyo maybe provide a short description and then the amount that you're allocating to it. Um, hindi naman po siya, uh, hindi naman po siya uh, parang magmi-make or break ng inyong application um, as long as you will work around the the you know the story grant which is 70,000 pesos. If you think that you will go super overboard, uh, let's say talagang it requires a lot a bigger budget then siguro you can just include that also in 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 the budget proposal and titimbangin naman po yan ng mga panelists po to see if if it really measures up po doon sa sa budget that you are placing siguro yung gusto ko lang din pong inote no na for this fellowship we're not really uh uh, funding equipment. So, uh, uh, make sure lang po na yung budget proposal yung hindi po yung malaking chunk ay mapupunta sa pagbili ng camera, sa pagbili ng recorder, ganun po. Kasi uh, somewhat po we're expecting that you you have this equipment. But we're also aware po that this could be ano po, no, something that you would need for for your ano. So, you can, you can include that. Pero we still want to see po that the chunk, the bigger bulk of the reporting expenses would really go into the reporting. And that also includes if if you you would play if you want to place it po stipend for especially for freelance journalists here po no? now we understand na ako as a freelance journalist um, yung labor ko pa arawan no halaga din yun na nababayaran so uh, definitely that's also something that you should uh, place so ayun kayo po yung magde-decide dun sa budget but once again po no the working budget is 70,000 pesos. You can, if, if you need to go overboard, then you can just place it there and put a short justification why. And yung mga panelists and organizers na po yung mag uh, titingin at magtitimbang uh, if, if, you know, if, it, if the budget would be approved or, or not. Thank you. I have one more question here unless we have video friends who are Still thinking of uh, questions. We have a few more minutes, so uh, just um, place your questions here. Or raise your hand. Uh, so my last question here on my screen: Are we just focusing on energy transition? What if my proposal has a climate change angle with it? Is that okay? Yes, Chris. Yeah, I'll take that one. Thanks. So. We are focusing on energy transition stories, no? as we mentioned earlier, but there's a lot that energy covers. No? Uh, and this is also why we're confident in reaching out to people for whom, you know, who, what, for whom this, this, this isn't their beat. No? Uh, it's an all-encompassing topic. It touches on so many issues. So climate change is just one of them. Uh, lifestyle can definitely be some, uh, be another, for example. So uh, yes, energy transition, but Climate change is also possible. It will depend how you pitch it to us and how you plan to develop your story. Again, we're looking for something innovative. We're looking for something creative. And how you link the two uh, will also be a factor. So yes, you, uh, the long and the short of it, yeah, we're perfectly happy to, to see you um, pitch that to us. Thanks, Chris. AC, just said, uh, thank you also to everyone who who pitched in their questions. Um, Chris, I'd like to invite you to stay on. Oh, we have one more question, if that's all right, uh, from our friend Ben Cyrus Elirin. Sorry. Tapat ba publish ang work? For AV, what are the platforms? Pwede bang YouTube channel? Okay, um, ako na siguro sa sagat kay Bensay. Salamat sa pag-attend. Um, yung, dapat ma-publish yung, yung work 
yung, yung story na magagawa ng team for this fellowship. Kasi after you got selected, you will sign a contract with us ng commitment. Parang is a commitment contract na you will finish the program and you will have to publish your stories. For AV, what are the platforms? Um, yes, pwedeng pwede ang YouTube. Lalo na kung, ano, uh, kung video series or video uh, documentary yung gagawin ninyo. So, pwede din ang FB page. Lalo na, di ba, karamihan ng mga news uh, agencies ngayon ay may, may FB, may mga Facebook pages na. Definitely, pwedeng pwede yun na maging platform ng publish stories. So yun, pwede siyang ano, it, it depends on the team on how you will propose your story kung paano din siya lalabas. Pero maganda yung point na yun ni Bansai kasi parang when you do your proposal, you also have to think of ano yung output na niya. Paano, paano siya, ano yung magiging itsura niya. Kasi your, your proposal naman, once you get accepted, we will help develop it together with the panelists. So from time to time after your your, your five, five weeks online classes, hindi naman kapag kunwari sinabi namin July, oh yan, pwede na kayong gamawa ng story. Hindi ibig sabihin na iiwan na namin kayo. <laughs> hindi. Uh, we will always be there to to guide you if you have questions, lalo na kung ongoing na yung story making. Kasi as Jacette mentioned also, we have this previous experience also sa mga previous grants na na importante yung guidance with the organizers. So if you have difficulties habang ginagawa niyo yung, yung kwento, nandito naman kami to guide you. So yeah, just it. Ay, yes. Um, ano, uh, susugan ko lang yung binanggit ni AC no, na will always be there for you. <laughs> um, uh, ano lang po, no? so once you, yung, yung proseso po kasi, no? so once you, you apply no and you pitch your story and then you get accepted as a fellow so you will go through the short course and then after the short course which will run for about 4 or 5 weeks you will get the chance to revise your story proposal kasi ang assumption po natin is dun sa after ng 5 weeks mas napalalim na po yung understanding natin ng energy ng climate ng low carbon development so you will have the chance to even make your proposal even better and then you will be presenting this once again to the panelists uh, yung same panelists po na nag-accept sa inyo sa application will be the same one ones na will give you more guidance and this is an esteemed panel po of veteran journalists, editors, and communication experts. We are so honored to have them as part of this fellowship. Um, and then throughout the entire process from July to October, andyan po kami ni AC, no? So if you need as ask here po, no? Assistance in 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 anything po, no? Uh, we'll be happy to to guide you. Uh, with regards po dun sa pag-pitch ng story sa publishers, um, when you apply po, no, you have to already uh, include a statement or a letter of commitment from a publication. So you should be able to secure that even before po you send in your application because it is part of the application process. But in, in the future, po, no, if you may want to pitch it to other you know, publications, kung part na po kayo ng fellowship and you want to also sell it kung baga sa iba pang mga publications, local and international. I think AC as our veteran media coordinator will be more than happy po to, to help you in that regard. So, ayun po. Salamat. From Reniel Gundran, when will be the pitching day? Um, Reniel, so magpapasa kayo ng, ng story proposal, di ba? And then if you get accepted, you will go through the short course. And then after the short course will be the revision and the uh, parang polishing of the story proposal. The first story proposal that na sinabmit nyo unless you feel na you want to overhaul the entire thing. Um, so we expect that will be around July, just before you embark on your fieldwork process itself. So don't worry. Um, once na ano na na you are already part of the fellowship, you will be provided with all of the schedules and deadlines and everything that you need to ano to to remember. Um, ano lang no. Uh, Hurdle muna natin yung first part of, of that process, which is forming a team and making a kick-ass, sabi nga ni Sir Red kanina, no? a kick-ass uh, story proposal. We're excited to, to see your stories. 
So, Bensay has a follow-up question. Can we submit multiple story proposals? Maka pwedeng para iterate na lang, uh, AC or Joseph. Okay, siguro uh, yun nga, again, dun sa multiple story proposals, um, isa lang for, for, for team, but you can work on it to be a multiple story series. So, depende yun sa team kung paano nyo lalaruin, kung paano nyo i-develop. Pero definitely, pwedeng maging more than just one yung story nyo. Lalo na if you want to, to produce a video for this. Kasi syempre, we don't want na medyo masyadong mahaba yung video, di ba? We can cut it into several minutes. So, several series. So, yun. Para isang, isang story proposal per team yung hin 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 hinahanap natin. 